Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound KClO4. Now, here's a little trick, guys. If you see that you have a compound, an ionic compound that has three or more different letters or different elements, right? We'll say different elements. Then you know that you're dealing with at least one polyatomic ion. In this case, we have three different elements. We have potassium, we have chlorine, and then we have oxygen. So three different elements. I know that I have a polyatomic ion, but just remember that polyatomic ions are never in the periodic table. You have to memorize those. So that's why I just wrote the one that we're going to be seeing down here. Okay. So you should memorize these. Okay. Flashcard, do whatever you got to do. It, they will come, you know, the, the memorization will come over time. So ClO4, which is always a negative one charge, is always called perchlorate. So this ClO4 is perchlorate. The only element that we have left is potassium, which is K, and that's over here on the periodic table. Remember that group one is all metals except for hydrogen. Hydrogen's a non-metal, so this would be a metal, and that's why it's ionic. I got a metal and then a polyatomic. Now let's just name it. The metal name always stays exactly the same. So K is just going to stay as potassium. And then also the polyatomic ions, those names always stay the same. That's why you got to memorize them. So this would be perchlorate. And now just see if you need a uh, Roman numeral, right? Roman numerals are used for transition metals, but since potassium is not in this block on the periodic table, we don't need it, right? This is the transition metal block. So we're done. So KClO4 is just potassium perchlorate. And that's it. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And if you want to help us out, press the subscribe button. Okay. I hope you have a great day and let's keep studying hard. Bye-bye.